During the Dance of the Dragons, many of these creatures lost their lives. The Targaryen story almost became extinct in that event, but not everyone who tried to wipe out the dragons at this time succeeded. There were stories of knights who tried to stop the dragons, only to die within seconds. The story we will talk about today is perhaps the most famous among the knights of that era. A knight who tried to end the life of Vhagar, Byron Swan, the knight of the broken mirror. A knight that we could see facing Rhaenyra in the second season of House of the Dragon. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. When we talk about the Dance of the Dragons, we usually think of great battles and warriors, battles of knights against dragons, and heroic feats. But the story of the Dance of the Dragons is not only about men's deeds, but also about their failures. And perhaps the story of this knight is considered the worst failure. The story of the clumsiness of this knight is legendary. So much so that the first time we knew about it was thanks to a story by Shireen. The daughter of Stannis Baratheon, who mocked the clumsiness of this knight saying the following. What's this one now? The Dance of Dragons. A true telling. By Grandmaster Munkin. Well, that sounds like a proper story. <sighs> so Byron Swan wanted to kill the dragon Vega. He polished his shield for a week so that it was like a mirror. Then he crouched behind it and crept forward, hoping the dragon would only see its own reflection. But the dragon saw a dumb man holding a mirrored shield. And burnt him to a crisp. <laughs> Thus ending the dragon-slaying career of Sir Byron Swan. <laughs> this means that Byron Swan's failure was so legendary that it is remembered hundreds of years later for the time of Daenerys. But who was Byron Swan? According to legends, he was a knight who supported Alicent's side. He was one of the Greens and the second son of Stonehelm. Being a second son, like Daemon and Amond, he had to earn his glory on his own merits. So during the Dance of the Dragons, he devised a strategy to defeat the dragons. This is where legends about the Knight of the Broken Mirror vary. Some people say Byron planned to kill Sunfire, while others said he really wanted to kill Cyrax, since he was on the green side. But according to Shireen, Byron really wanted to kill Vhagar, the largest dragon. Will we see Byron's story in the second season of House of the Dragon? What do the books say about this character? In the book Fire and Blood, from which House of the Dragon is inspired, we can read a fragment where it first talks about a legend from the Age of Heroes, about a man who killed a dragon with a mirror shield. The story goes as follows. During the Age of Heroes, Sir Wynne of the Mirror Shield slew the dragon Urax by crouching behind a shield so polished that the beast saw only his own reflection. By this ruse, the hero crept close enough to drive a spear through the dragon's eye, earning the anime by which we know him still. This means that in the culture of Westeros, they talked about a hero of the ancient age, who managed to fool a dragon with a shield so shiny that it confused him. Possibly the knights have heard this story thousands of times and greatly admired Serwyn, which ended up inspiring Byron Swan. According to the book Fire and Blood, Byron, inspired by this old story, began polishing his shield to trick one of the dragons. Part of the book reads as follows that Sir Byron Swan, second son of the Lord of Stonehelm, had heard this tale we cannot doubt. Armed with a spear and a shield of silvered steel and accompanied only by his squire, he set out to slay a dragon just as Serwyn did. Then, the book mentions that neither Mushroom nor other masters agree on which dragon Byron tried to kill, but they all agree on his end. The book says the following, all three accounts agree that the ploy that won undying fame for Sir Wynn of the Mirror Shield brought only death for Sir Byron Swan. The dragon, whichever one it was, stirred at the knight's approach and unleashed his fire, melting the mirrored shield and roasting the man crouched behind it. 
Sir Byron died screaming. Byron is known to have been present in many events of Game of Thrones, but he has not yet had a leading role. But will we see his story in the second season of House of the Dragon? Some people theorize that this event should happen by the third season, since this knight was loyal to the Greens. And possibly, in the third season, we could see the arrival of one of the enemy dragons for the Greens, and see this confrontation. Now, House Swan, according to the books, belongs to Storm's End, the place where Lucerus lost his life, and where we think Rhaenyra will go in the first episode. We can see in the trailer that Rhaenyra appears to be somewhere near a beach, and it has been theorized that it could be Storm's End. It is possible that Byron Swan and Rhaenyra's story will come together in the first episode, where it will show how this knight has been training to defeat dragons, and how he is incinerated by Cyrax, thus proving that the story that he had tried to take down Vagar was wrong, and that he was always one of the Greens. This would also connect his story to Game of Thrones. Though of course, there is also the possibility that this knight, even though he is one of the Greens, wants to take down Vagar because he feels he is a security threat. Whatever the reason, it would be good to see him in House of the Dragon, as he is one of the examples of how you could lose your life by following a legend. Was it really possible to slay a dragon in this way during the Age of Heroes? There are many stories from that time, but it is possible that many of them are lies. Dragons are very intelligent creatures, and fooling a dragon with a shield sounds pretty funny, to the point that Shireen made fun of it. I think it's one of those stories that is just legend and not reality, but will end up inspiring the knights, and unfortunately cost them their lives as they try. Perhaps, the legend of Sirwin of the Mirror Shield created the Knight of the Broken Mirror, but it would not be the only story that inspired the knights of that time, because Amon put a sapphire in his eye, because in the Age of Heroes there was a warrior who instead of his eyes wore sapphires. Legends and traditions have inspired many battles, and I think it is also necessary for us to watch a movie or series about the Age of Heroes to know how true those stories were. But in the case of the Knight of the Broken Mirror, or Incinerated, I would love to see this in the second or third season of House of the Dragon. But tell me, what do you think of Byron Swan's story? Could it be that during the Age of Heroes a person actually did this feat? Or could it be that it was all a legend that unfortunately inspired this young knight? Would you like to see this in House of the Dragon? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.